Hi, I'm Caroline Barnes and I'm a makeup artist. I'm going to show you how to transform your wintry smoky eye into something just a little bit more soft and sultry for summer. Before you start any kind of smoky eye, you need great skin, especially around the eye area. I'm going to pass you over to Anastasia, who's going to show you how to prep your skin perfectly. So coming out of winter, we get terribly dry skin, and with that, we get accentuated aging. We need to put lots of moisture and hydration back into the eye area to give us that beautiful, youthful radiance. I love quick and easy products, and I love products that do more than one thing. So I've got hydration in my Olay roller, which means that I can click, apply, and at the same time, what I'm getting is a beautiful pressured massage. I've got three steel rollers on the end of it. They gently apply perfect pressure so that I'm releasing any congested lymphatic fluid and it's literally just depuffing it because of that pressure. All done. The key thing to remember before you start to execute your smoky eyes to make sure you get the balance right, if you've got lighter brows, you can go for a much darker smoky eye. If your brows are very dark and dense, you want to make it a little bit lighter. So to begin with, I'm just going to use a wash of this beautiful Erin Fresh Skin Compact. I'm going to be using a brow setting gel and it's got a little tint to it. Okay, so to start the look, I'm going to use a really beautiful, intense black coal. It's an Estee Lauder double wear one. And I'm going to line the waterline, top and bottom of Olga's eyes. Now this gives you that pin sharp definition that you want to your eyes without it looking overly made up. So I'm going to use a lovely, gorgeous, creamy, chocolate brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to use Mats Vactor's Bronze Haze Smoky Eye Effect Pen. This is a cream-based product. I think it's really, really easy to use creams to create a smoky eye. There is no fuss, there's no mess. So now that lovely bronze haze is on her eyes, I'm gonna go back with the onyx, and I'm just going to bleed the liner from the waterline just to the base of the lashes. But everything has to really blend seamlessly so the colors just evolve into one another. It's got a handy smudger at the end, so that makes this very easy. And whether it's a wintry or a summer smoky eye, both looks need lashes, top and bottom. I'm going to be using YSL Volume Effect. When you've created a beautiful smoky eye like this, it's really important to neutralize any color in your lips. Simply take the foundation that you used on your face over your lips. It takes all the pink out and gives them a lovely, nudey finish. This way, your eyes become the focus of the makeup and they look really, really exaggerated.